All right. So example one today, we're going to build on our lesson from yesterday, which is day one. Okay. Example one, we have the temperature. Okay. The temperature outside is falling at a steady rate of four degrees every hour. If the temperature starts at 68, do the following. Okay, so we have a table that needs to be filled in. So if we have a starting point, what do we usually identify that as in our equation? So if we y. have a y, y what? Very little, I fill in 68. B. B. So that's our y intercept. intercept. How do we know what a y-intercept looks like inside of the table? Where x is 0. So that is where we're going to put our 68. And then it's falling 4 degrees every hour. So what is it going to be after hour 1? 64, then 60, then 56. All right, now we're going to write a linear equation in the form of y equals mx plus b to represent this. What is our slope? Negative 4. Remember, it's going down by 4 each time. So negative 4x. And then you already said that our y-intercept is 68. So the big part of this lesson today is to realize when do we have a positive slope and when do we have a negative slope? Okay, because it's going to depend. That will that will seriously change your answer. Part C. According to your equation, what is the temperature when T equals 2.75 hours? How can we solve that? What is T? Yes. Yep. Go ahead and plug in T for X. I really should have written T here for my X. That's my bad. Okay, and we can put that in our calculator. Okay, it should be 57 degrees here. That is a look at seven. Let's try again. All right. Part D. If the cooling continues, when will the temp be 32 degrees? How can I solve that? Yeah, plug in 32 for Y. I'm going to let you solve for T by yourself since I know you already know how to do that. Go ahead and solve for T. Guys, we should be solving for T. That doesn't require conversation. The starting temperature is 68 degrees. Okay, somebody interpret the slope for me. What's going on with the slope? Decreasing. Dropping four degrees Fahrenheit per hour.
Okay, the practical domain. So think T. Okay, T is basically your X in this case. Okay, T is, stands for what? T is time. Okay, so what's the least amount of time? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's talk about it. Do we know, like, can the temperature just keep dropping forever? Yeah. Kind of. I mean, we, we know it's going to kind of bottom out at a certain degree, but we don't really have a, a stopping point there. So we'll just go ahead and put it Because that time can just Solutions are on the back, so you can check yourself. 